God bless you. Good morning. This is Prophet MOG. And I'm coming to you with a heavy heart. Because as I look across America and I look across uh, the states and see the, the, the hate and the anger that has been taking place because of the police shootings and, and the killings of, of young black men and the killings of uh, police officers also, um, we need to put this in perspective. We need, to, we need to come together and unite and put this whole picture in perspective. Because, sure, if one of my loved ones is killed by a police officer or anybody else, I'm going to be angry. But the Bible says, don't retaliate with worldly hate. Don't, retal don't repay evil with evil, but repay evil with good. And as difficult as that is right now for the families, and my heart goes out to the families of the individuals that were killed by the police and the individuals, the police officers in Dallas that were killed, that were ambushed by someone. We got we to gotta start putting perspective where it belongs and see who the real enemy behind these these uh, situations are to cause race wars, to cause black to fight against white and white to fight against black. We have to be smarter than that. The enemy is the devil. The enemy is, is, is Satan himself. He wants us to come and, and kill one another. He wants a race war. He wants us to destroy one another. That is his plan. That is why he goes about uh, uh, putting one race against the other. Putting one color against the other. Same with the Crips and Bloods. They're killing one another over colors. It's the same with the, the police and the, and the citizens. They're killing one another over colors. And if you're a racist police officer who doesn't like black people, then you don't need to be a police officer. And I pray to God that he removes you from office. If you're a racist politician, judge, doctor, lawyer, teacher, principal, I pray to God that he removes you from this situation. But we cannot allow the devil to continue to play us like puppets. To continue to push us once, one again against the other. Because God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of, and of a sound mind. And a sound mind says, I have to forgive. A sound mind says, I know that I am in pain. I know that they have wronged me and they have hurt me and they have forgiven me. And I continue to love. I've been in situations myself where I've wanted to do harm to people who have, who have done harm to me. I wanted to hurt people and, and, and kill people that have harmed my family members but I had to lean on the everlasting love of God I had to put my faith in God and when I put my faith in God God is faithful the Bible says that he who forgives his enemy he will heap hot coals upon their heads so the way that we get revenge upon those that misuse us, that kill us, that, 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 that abuse us, that abuse our family and our loved ones. It's not the guy to go out and get a gun and seek revenge. That's the worldly way. That's the devil's way. It's to pray for our enemies. And as we pray for our enemies, 
God will seek our revenge. Because God said, revenge is mine, says the Lord. Revenge belongs to me. And God can take care of your enemy a whole lot more proper than you can. When my rage and anger got a hold of me, I wanted to go and I wanted to kill. I wanted to slay. I wanted to take a life. I wanted to take a life. Quite a few lives. But I had to lean on God and allow him to handle the situation. And he indeed handled the situation. And he handled the situation much better than I could have. Because had I gone about the situation with my uh, worldly instincts, with my rage and anger, the rest of my family would have lost me to prison or to the death chamber. I understand the pain that these mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers are going through. I understand the police brutality. I understand the, the, the institutional racist system that we are fighting. And indeed the, the, the uh, system is institutionally racial against blacks against Latinos, against people of color. I've witnessed that over and over again on a daily basis. And I continue to witness it over and over again on a daily basis. But we gotta learn to hit our knees instead of grabbing our guns. We gotta learn to, to, to pray and allow God who created all of this, heaven and earth, we got to allow him to be the one to handle the situation. And indeed, he will show you how to handle your situation. He will show you how to be uh, an upstanding citizen, despite being racially profiled, despite being shot down like a dog in the middle of the streets. God is... God and he is God for a reason we have been persecuted we have been persecuted from the beginning of time but the only way to overcome our persecution the only way for us to really get a just decision is through God the courts are not the final answer the American court system is as corrupt as it can get. From top to bottom. Now, I'm not saying that every uh, individual that works in the court system is corrupt. That is not my, 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 my point. But what I'm saying is that the institutional racism that is perpetuated behind it is what causes these things to happen. It's what causes a police to believe that he has the power. Just because he has a badge that he has the power to take your life or take my life or take the lives of our loved ones. It's the institutional racist system. So we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling against principalities and powers in high places. And the only way to bring that down is on your knees, my friends. The only way to, to handle that situation is on your knees. Any situation that you may be facing, today, tomorrow, or the next, because it's coming. It's coming, and it's coming sooner than you may think. There's going to be killings all over the country. Because America itself is under judgment. There are going to be killings uh, and, and unrest all over the country. I've been prophesying this for years, that it was coming. And now we're seeing the prophecy unfolding. People losing lives, 
Cops killing citizens, citizens killing cops. It's a civil war going on right now. So we have to buckle down and we have to be ones that understand that prayer and forgiveness of, of, of our enemies is how you defeat the enemy. Sure, you can kill him, he can kill you, your people can kill his people, his people can kill he, his people, and that's how the, the generational killing continues. It continues that way. But the Bible says that when you pray for your enemies, when you, when you, when you love your enemies, you reap hot coals upon their heads. So be encouraged. But understand that during these difficult times, and they will get more difficult, we have to be praying people. We have to be forgiving people. And we have to be able to see the big picture of who is behind these killings. Who is behind this, this uh, attempt to start a racial war? And we have to be understanding enough to know that the puppet master wants us all dead. He wants us all dead and burning in hell. So be encouraged, be vigilant, be careful, but most of all, be prayerful. This is Prophet MOG, Prophet Kenneth Emmanuel Thornton, I'm praying for you as I hope you're, you're praying for me and pray for our communities and our country because we're really going to need it in this, time, this, this day and time. I love you. I respect you. I want you to know that to, to love yourself despite these situations, to not allow your anger to get the best of you, to not allow your situation of of injustice or or uh, uh, what you have been through as far as injustice to get the best of you because that is what they want they want to kill you through injustice but I, I guarantee you this unjust racist institutional system is coming to an end God bless you